Okay, so imagine you wanted to play Prince of Persia 3D from 1999 on your PC in windowed mode, but it opens by default in full screen. Therefore, you might not be able to capture gameplay footage on OBS, for example. So in order to achieve that, what you need to do is you need to download DXWND, which is a free open source software that you can find on SourceForge. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's been verified and, and sweeped for malware and stuff, so it's legit and safe to use. So what you need to do is, and always run your own scans as well if, you, if you're ever apprehensive about that. But um, yeah, if you download that folder, unzip it into a new folder on your desktop or, you know, just call it DXWND. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, before you start uh, anything, is find the application file in that folder, right click on it, go to properties, um, go to compatibility, the compatibility tab, and make sure that it runs as administrator. Um, or you can do it, do it manually every time, just right click and run as administrator. Um, either way, you have to make sure it has administrative rights or authority to actually run because otherwise the it won't work um, as intended. So yeah, once you've done that, if you open up DXWND, go to the edit tab, click add, and you should be brought to this screen here. So what you can do from this point is um, in path and launch, you want to click the three dots. Um, if you find uh, the application file for your game, if you navigate to it in in this P in my PC, go to local disk, uh, find wherever the folder is for the game, and click on the game, the main game application file, and click open. This should paste the path to that exe file like you'll see here and um, that should paste that path into here in path and launch so make sure that they are the same and you can give it a name so yeah so what you want to do is in the main tab here make sure that run in window is ticked make sure that terminate on window close is ticked it'll just make it easier to close the game if needs be um, early hook I think is clicked by default so I'd leave that and in terms of the window position um, I would leave that as default so the one thing I would change down here is window size so the width and the height so make sure that matches your retro game resolution so if you when I open up Prince of Persia for example I can set a resolution in the settings so so what I've done is I've set 640 by 480 or it's set by by default as 640 by 480 so i'm making sure that the window matches the resolution and this prevents any kind of unwanted stretching or um kind of full screen effects or, or like the window can basically fill the screen and it makes it a little bit awkward to move around so yeah make sure you match the original resolution here in this bottom width by height section so if you go switch over to the win uh, the video tab um i have tick frame clicked which kind of gives you the option to close the window and stuff like that um all of these are unticked i think by default so there's no need to do anything there on the left hand side um what you want to do is make sure go down to screen resolution the bottom right section of this window or this tab and again make sure that resolution width by height matches your game resolution this will make sure that the original um, native resolution is, is retained and you don't have any unwanted stretching of the image. So I clicked native here. Um, you can play around with this to try and achieve a, a better resolution or a wider window, a bigger window. But for the purposes of this um, demonstration, I'm going to do the native resolution. So make sure that the resolution in the video tab and the main tab um, the window size and the video resolution match your game resolution so those three things should match um, that being this down here in the, in the main tab this resolution then the bottom right in the video tab 
and the resolution in the settings in your video game. Those three things should match. So once you've done that, um, and your path is here, and you've given it a name, and the, the icon of your game should appear on the right-hand side here, you can click Try. And once you do, ideally, the game should pop up like this. And you should be in. I think. Yeah, so here we are. We're in Prince of Persia 3D in windowed mode. Um, without this program, I couldn't capture the footage. So it's quite a neat, uh, useful program or software to use. And it's it's free and it's it's open source. So why not try it out? So if you're struggling with maybe old demos or old PC games that you can't capture the footage of, maybe you can play them, but you can't capture footage, this is probably the best way to do it. And this is the quickest way to do it. So in the description below, what I'm go going to do is I'm going to uh, list out all the different steps. There's only maybe five or six. Um, the open as administrator thing is probably the most important thing to remember for DXWND. And once you find the path for your game and you put in your settings and stuff, it should run just fine in the window. And you can kind of play around with the resolution and stuff and, and to see what different um out outcomes you can achieve or different window sizes and stuff like that but um this is mostly this video is mostly focused on capturing the native um resolution which worked quite nicely for prince of persia 1999 the the demo um but yeah so thanks very much for watching if you've any questions about that drop a comment and i'll help you out I, i'll get back within within 24 hours usually and I'll leave all the information you need in the description of the video.